Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pearl. I am your host, your friend Roy. Today's this presentation, we have a lot of welcome. Friends, you know we are discussing series 9, where we are talking about areas of parallelograms and triangles. Now, friends, today we are going to talk about this particular theorem that states parallelograms on the same base and between same parallels, meaning the same parallel lines, they actually have equal areas. So, so friends, we hope that this is a series 9. So, we hope that from a series 8, you have gone through series 8, where we have discussed at length about quadrilaterals and parallelograms in particular. We have seen that parallelograms, ki, what, are the what is meant by parallelogram, what are the unique properties of parallelogram, and many, many theorems and their proofs of parallelograms in our series 8. So, so we hope that you have already gone through that and you have a very solid understanding of parallelogram kya hai. Similarly, dosto, we hope that you have also gone through um, the prior series, I believe it was series 7 on triangles. So, we have seen there thi a lot about triangle ki se kehte hai, congruence triangles kya hai, and so many different uh, congruence rules, right? So, so, today friends, we are discussing that um, agar hum if we draw two or more parallelograms in such a way that they have the same base and wo parallelograms, they are between same parallel lines, then the theorem is telling us they must have equal areas. So, chale friends, let's get started and find out how we can go ahead and prove this theorem. Now, friends, what we are going to do like we always do is first we are going to understand the theorem clearly so that we know exactly what we prove karni hai. So, parallelograms, right? So, we have to draw more than one parallelogram in such a way that they have same base and they are between same parallel lines. So, those are what we do is, let us first go ahead and draw the parallelograms. So, here you can see, friends, what we have done. We have drawn a parallelogram. Let's call it A, B, C, D. Okay? If this is our parallelogram, A, B, C, D, and those are what we have done is that ye jo side hai BC, is a extend karte hai like this on both sides. Aap dekho ke dosto why we are doing it. And chale is a hai ki this is line L. So, what we have, friends, is number one, uh, humare paas hai ABCD, ABCD. ABCD is a parallelogram, right? So, those are parallelogram ko hum short form as a lik rahe hai. Uh, just to save some time, lekin aap isse, you will write the full word. So, abhi agar A, B, C, D parallelogram hai, aapko malum hai, opposite sides of parallelogram are equal and parallel. So, A, D is equal to B, C and A, D is also parallel to B, C. Right? So, iska matlab ye hoa dosto, that agar A, D is parallel to B, C, so A, D is also parallel to line L, jo ki is nothing but an extension of B, C, right? So, we have to that ABCD is a parallelogram. So, this is our first condition that we know. Second, dosto, we have AD jo hai, that is actually parallel to line L. Now, what we are going to do dosto, is that we are going to draw our second parallelogram because hume, we have to get at least more than one parallelogram. And second parallelogram, we have draw karni hai, that it is also between the same base and same parallel lines. So, what we do, friends, is that we draw a parallelogram like this. So, chale, isse naam dete hai, let us call this PQ. So, dosto, abhi A, P, Q, D. This is another parallelogram. Hum ne aise karke draw ki hai, so that the base remains AD, jo ki, which is the same as the base for A, B, C, D. Right? Dono parallelogram, they are sitting on the same base. And, we have parallelogram as we draw ki hai dosto, that this, uh, uh, these vertices P and Q, they are also on line L. Iske se, dosto, we had actually extended line BC on both sides. So that ye jo parallelogram humne, uh, humne abhi draw ki hai, they are also between the same parallel lines which is line L and AD. So dosto, then we have um, A, P, Q, D is our second parallelogram is another parallelogram, right? So, friends, what we have, these are things that, that are given to us now. So, ye hai hamari first condition, ye hai hamari second condition, and this is the third thing that we know. So, agar 
ये तीनों चीजें इफ दे आर ऑल ट्रू फ्रेंड सो वॉट वी हैव टू प्रूव इज दैट द एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए ए बी सी डी ए बी सी डी एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी शुड बी इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए पी क्यू डी ना आपने देखिए दोस्तों हमारी लास्ट एपिसोड में हम एरिया ऑफ सम फिगर को भी राइट इन शॉर्ट लाइक दिस हम लिखते हैं ए आर एंड देन विद इन ब्रैकेट हम लिखते हैं द ज्योमेट्रिकल शेप और ज्योमेट्रिकल फिगर अगर ये ट्राइंगल होगी तो वी वुड हैव रिटर्न ट्राइंगल ए बी सी और ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर एट्सेट्रा यहाँ पे दोस्तों वी आर टॉकिंग वट एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी दैट इज ए बी सी डी इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए पी क्यू डी सो दोस्तों दिस इज वॉट द थियोरम इज टेलिंग एस पैरलोग्राम्स ड्रॉन ऑन द सेम बेस इन दिस केस दोस्तों दोनों पैरलोग्राम की बेस है ए डी एंड बिटवीन सेम पैरल लाइन्स बिकॉज बोथ दिस पैरलोग्राम्स आर ड्रॉन बिटवीन ए डी एंड लाइन एल सो अगर ऐसा होता है दोस्तों तो थियोरम इज टेलिंग एस दे मस्ट हैव इक्वल एरियाज सो नाउ दोस्तों वी नो एग्जैक्टली थियोरम क्या है और हमें क्या प्रूफ करनी है नाउ चलिए लेट एस डाइव इन इन टू द एक्चुअल प्रूफ ऑफ इट सो दोस्तों नाउ हम लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अप्रोच दिस प्रूफ सो एक काम करते हैं फ्रेंड्स लेट्स लेट एस क्विकली गो हेड एंड राइट दिस वॉट वी हैव वी हैव ए डी हियर एंड एक काम करते हैं लेट एस कॉल दिस ए बी सी डी एंड लेट एस कॉल दिस एज ए पी क्यू डी सो ना दोस्तों वी हैव ए बी सी डी एंड ए पी क्यू डी दीज आर टू पैरलोग्राम्स एंड ये है हमारी लाइन एल राइट दिस इज आर लाइन एल एंड नाव वी हैव ए डी पैरल टू लाइन एल सो दोस्तों नाव आप देखोगे हमें प्रूफ करनी है वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए पी क्यू डी यहाँ पे आप एक चीज देखोगे दोस्तों ना इफ यू इफ यू लुक एट ए बी सी डी और ए पी क्यू डी आप देखोगे फ्रेंड्स दिस पार्ट जिसे हम अभी हाईलाइट कर रहे हैं दैट इज दिस ट्रपीजियम एक्चुअली इज कॉमन टू बोथ ऑफ दीज पैरलोग्राम्स मतलब कि अगर आप ए बी सी डी को देखते हो देन यू सी दिस पार्ट इज देयर राइट सिमिलरली अगर आप ए पी क्यू डी को देखते हो अगेन दिस पार्ट इज कॉमन इट्स ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन पैरलोग्राम ए पी क्यू डी सो फ्रेंड्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू हमारी अप्रोच रहेगी that for the time being let us keep this common jo side hai common piece hai let us keep this aside so then aap dekhoge then we have actually two triangles to to work with to to deal with so hamare paas ek triangle ban jati hai bpa and triangle cqd so hamari goal hogi dosto to understand the relationship between these two triangles in dono triangle ke beech mein kya relationship hai aur in dono areas ke beech what is that we can talk about what, what is that we can say about areas of this triangle and this triangle kyunki hame malum hai if we can find out some similarity between this agar maan lijiye if we are able to prove ki ye dono triangles equal hai yani ki congruent hai aur in dono ki area same hai hame malum hai dosto congruent shapes congruent figures they have equal areas so somehow dosto agar hum dikha sakte hain ki ye triangle aur ye triangle they are congruent triangles and they have equal areas then we can say that this area ke sath this area add karne se that should be equal to this area ke sath this area because this is common to both and so we can say that this parallelogram a b c d will be actually equal to the area of parallelogram a p q d so those so that will be our strategy so we are going to first try and see agar hum ye dikha sakte hain that area that uh, triangle b triangle b p a if this triangle is congruent to triangle c q d we will try and establish this first ye hai hamari first objective agar hum ye dikha sakte hain friends then we can tell that area of b p a 
right, will be equal to area of triangle C Q D because dono triangles congruent hai, so in ki area is equal hai. Agar, agar this area is equal to this area, then dono ke saath, we can add this common area. So then we will get area of parallelogram A B C D and then we will get area of parallelogram A B Q D and we can say these two areas are equal. So friends, this is basically the strategy of how we will actually approach this particular proof. Now chale, dosto, let us get started with the actual proof itself. Now, aapko malum hai, dosto, like we always do, pehle hum likhte hai what is given to us. So we have drawn our parallelogram A, B, C, D and A, Q, A, P, Q, D. So we have two parallelograms A, B, C, D, A, P, Q, D on the same base A, D and in between two parallel lines A, D and B, Q, right? A, D hamari uh, base hai for both parallelograms or B, Q is the line. So A, D is parallel to B, Q or dono parallelogram they are sitting on the same parallel lines, right? Then next we write, hume kya proof karni hai? So we need to prove that area of parallelogram ABCD is same as area of parallelogram APQD. That is area of ABCD is equal to area of APQD. This is what we have to actually go ahead and prove. Now, then dosto, we actually start the actual proof. Agar aap dekho ge, friends. Now in, in triangles ABP, in triangles A, B, P and triangle D, C, Q. Aap dekho ke friends, what we know is that um, we actually have jo A, B hai, A, B, this is parallel to C, D. Because why? <laughs> they are opposite sides of parallelogram A, B, C, D. And we know opposite sides of parallelogram are equal and parallel. So, dosto, agar this side is parallel to this side, then BC is a transversal. So we can say that this angle is equal to this angle. Q, Because these are corresponding angles. Agar AB is parallel to CD and BC is a transversal. So those are these two are actually corresponding angles. Right? So these two angles are actually equal. Now similarly, those are dekhoge that APB, this angle, is equal to this angle Q because AP and DQ are parallel. Now AP QD is a parallelogram and AP is parallel to DQ, right? And and hum so sakte hai that this BQ is a transversal. So then these two again become corresponding angles because AP is parallel to DQ. So those two, so now what we have is in these two triangles is triangle and is triangle may we have this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle also those though we can say that this the length of ap is your length hai, is equal to dq why because we know that in a parallelogram a p q d opposite sides are parallel and they are equal right so those though then what we have here, agar aap dekhoge in this triangle APB and DCQ, we have two pairs of correspond two pairs of uh, corresponding angles equal, right? This is equal to this, this is equal to this, and one side is equal, right? So then these two triangles are congruent by AAS congruence rule. So yahan pe dosto, let us clean this up a little bit. So, we see that both these triangles, that A, B, P and D, C, Q, that is A, B, P, this triangle and D, C, Q, this triangle, they are congruent. Why? Because we just saw A angle is equal to this angle and then we saw this angle is equal to this angle and we saw this side is equal to this side. Right? Now, dosto, aap, you could have said, AP equal to DQ ya fir aap keha sakte the AB is equal to CD because of the same reason because AB CD is a parallelogram and AB uh, and CD are opposite sides and we know opposite sides are equal. So no matter how you look at it we have angle angle side equal in two triangles and so we know that as per AAS congruence rule these two triangles are congruent. 
ना दोस्तों अभी अगर दो शेप्स चाहे वो ट्रायंगल हो सर्कल हो रेक्टेंगल हो एक्सेट्रा कुछ भी हो अगर दो शेप्स कॉन्ग्रेंट होती है दोस्तों सो वॉट वॉट कैन बी टेल अबाउट देयर एरियाज सो वी नो दैट कॉन्ग्रुएंट ट्राइंगल्स वी नो दैट कॉन्ग्रुएंट ट्राइंगल्स हैव इक्वल एरियाज सो यहाँ से दोस्तों वॉट वी कैन से इज एरिया ऑफ ए बी पी दैट इज एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल राइट ना वॉट वी डू फ्रेंड्स इज दिस अभी वी बेसिकली से दैट अगर आप इफ यू लुक एट एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी मान लीजिए अगर आप देखते हो ए बी सी डी को सो यू कैन से एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी इट इज मेड अप ऑफ एरिया ऑफ ए बी पी प्लस एरिया ऑफ ए पी सी डी राइट बिकॉज ये जो पार्ट है दोस्तों हमने पहले डिस्कस की है दिस इज कॉमन एक्चुअली राइट सो अगर आप अगर आप ए बी सी डी देखते हो सो यू कैन से दैट एरिया ऑफ दिस इज इक्वल टू ए बी पी ट्राइंगल की एरिया प्लस एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्रेपीजियम ए पी सी डी राइट एंड देन दोस्तों वॉट वी डू इज अभी ए बी पी के जगह वी आर रिप्लेसिंग दिस बाई डी सी क्यू सो अगर आप अभी इसे हटा के यू पुट दिस इन स्टेट सो नाउ एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डी इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ ट्रेपीजियम ए पी सी डी प्लस एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल डी सी क्यू बट इन दोनों एरिया को अगर आप अगर आप ऐड करते हो वॉट डू यू गेट यू गेट एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए पी क्यू डी सो यहां से दोस्तों वी सी दैट एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डी बिकम्स इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ पैरलोग्राम ए पी क्यू डी सो हेंस दोस्तों बोथ पैरलोग्राम दे हैव सेम एरिया दे हैव इक्वल एरिया एंड वी से आर थियोरम इज दस प्रूव्ड so friends now uh, we hope that you have actually followed this theorem and you have understood clearly ki why we say jab kabhi aap do parallel lines draw karte ho and unke beech agar aap same base mein if you draw two or more parallelograms all those parallelograms they will have equal areas so uh, like we always say friends agar aapke man mein koi sawal hai if you are there is something in the presentation that you did not understand please bejhijak ho ke aap without any uh, fear go ahead and send us a note or a comment and we'll be more than happy to provide you with any clarification that you may need so aaj ke is presentation mein itna hi friends agle episode mein fir milenge tab tak ke liye shukriya dhanyawad